Welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Market on State, formerly University Mall in Athens, Ohio. And that is Dunham Sports. That's the former Kmart store. Takes up most of that space. And that's DeVita Dialysis on the edge there. And that is the Athena Grand, which is one of the nicest movie theaters I've ever been to. And it's extremely affordable. That awning shows what it used to be. It's a renovated Big Bear store. And from the outside it still looks very similar to when it was Big Bear. And that's the new Texas Roadhouse, which we're going to see coming up next. This Texas Roadhouse was built around 2013 or 2014 smallest I've ever seen. It's the size of a gas station. Let's go ahead and go inside. This is the main entrance. first thing you notice in here are the floors. Those are original. And that stone structure on the right hand side was added uh, at some point during the renovation when it was switched from the University Mall to the Market on State. And the display in the middle here, those are King Midgets, and that's a car company that used to a symbol in Athens. Back behind there you can see the mall entrance to Dunham Sports which takes up most of the space of the former Kmart. Um, the DeVita Dialysis and the Spirit Halloween store take up the rest of the space with Spirit Halloween or Halloween Town or whatever it is being in the old garden center I believe. There's nothing down that hallway but right there where Kaiser's Barbecue is that used to be a Dairy Queen. And then you have Label Shopper. I've never seen one before, but I can tell you they have good stuff in there. I worked in American Eagle for a little while, and about a year afterward they had the former years stuff on display in there so it's good decent stuff and of course Bath and Body Works they'd survive the apocalypse I was surprised how many people were in here at this time. It was early on a Sunday morning before the mall opened. <coughs> and then you have Elder Beerman uh, coming up here on the left. And they that is actually a very small Elder Beerman store. Um, but Elder Beerman's owned by the Bon Ton, so that store is somewhat endangered. And you can tell by the design of this store right here that it was a jewelry store. Oh, and check out the food court up here on the right. This is the, the what I call the food court. Um, I believe this used to be a We're Rolling pretzel company or something similar to that, but it was definitely a pretzel shop. I'm not sure when this mall opened, but it was somewhere around 2006 that they changed the name from University Mall to the Market on State. 
and at that time they put in new furniture did a lot of redesigning on the outside and I didn't shoot in there very much because it's a jujitsu uh, thing and they actually were having practice at that time this hallway goes down to the restrooms and there's also a way to get in it's a shortcut to park closer so it was around 2006 they did the renovation. They changed the name, changed the sign, uh, and that was about the time they put the Athena Grand in as well. And I will say this Maurice's was special because it was the only Maurice's I know of that had guys' clothing. I don't think they did do any more, but ten years ago they did. And if you'd like to open a store here, there you go. Not sure what this store was. I couldn't make it out, out from the label scar there. And as I spin to the left, check out what's blacked out behind that painting. There was a kid playing on that playground, so I didn't want to record them, but that is the shut off mall entrance to the old J.C. Penney which is now a tractor supply. <coughs> and despite its vacancies, I think this mall is a pretty good mixture of unique local stores, a few national big retailers, um, and of course, oh, and this this is super retro land. It's a branch store of a store in Parkersburg uh, that is vintage video games. But this mall, the parking lot anyhow, is also home to the Athens Farmer's Market, which is probably the biggest thing it has going for it, really. Um, unless you consider the Athena Grand, because that's a pretty good deal, too. This store looks like it prints apparel for local high schools. And that's the new center court. Of course you have to have bath fitter. Now on the right here there's a Chinese restaurant. It's a buffet type restaurant and it's been there for a very long time. I think it's different people that own it now but when I went to OU we went there at least once a week. And across the hall here, I can't remember what this used to be. It was some sort of fry or steak restaurant, I believe, at one point. And then it changed in recent years, it must not have been open very long, to a Super Mario-themed frozen yogurt shop. Which sounded like kind of a cool concept, but I never got to stop in and try it. You can tell them, you know, they're really doing the best with what they have here. They're putting on display art from local artists. They have events here. There's a model railroading club that has a big event inside. And to the right here you have a Verizon authorized retailer. And just to the right here on this board, uh, you'll see it still says University Mall. And pictures of all of the mall walkers, although I didn't see any of them in there the morning that I was in here filming. That TV lounge is somewhat new, especially that sign, I think that's very new. And I'll say, this is the only goodies I have ever seen except for at Grand Central Mall. And it's closed now as well. I don't know how many goodies are left. 
And I'm not sure what this area is. I don't know if that's incorporated into goodies or what used to be there. Now down to the other end of the mall. We're looking at the back of Shade on State right there as a restaurant. And this is the former JCPenney main entrance right there. Uh, it's now cut off from the rest of the mall. And a little bit of the road was cut off for this little stockyard type thing that they have on the side of the mall here. Now we're heading back to the back side of the mall. You look straight ahead from here where those cones are that is a practice parking area for whatever agency at work it, that works out of the mall that helps you pass your driver's test that's the side entrance to elder beerman and then that is the former back entrance to the jc penny i believe that entrance is closed off as well And here's a little better look at that area that's reserved for practice parking. They knew the maneuverability test there. We're around the back of the mall now. And off to your right here, you'll see those glass doors. That's a back entrance to the mall that comes out near Kaiser's and near the interior entrance to Dunham. And that black sign that you can see there, that's new to me and was a surprise. I can't remember exactly what that is, but this was the first time I had seen that being there. And whatever it is, is apparently pretty popular because there's a lot of cars there. It seems like they've split up the old Kmart into quite a few different pieces. On the right here, you're going to see a sign for a new gymnastics center that has also been put in the old Kmart stock room. Davida Dialysis is there on the right. And now we're going to check out the Athena Grand. Uh, now, as I said, this is an old Big Bear store. The inside is totally different, but the outside doesn't look much different at all, other than they painted it. And you'll see the marquee here of the Athena Grand looks very similar to than it did um, when it was a big bear store and if anybody knows the story on those giant pots I'd really like to know well anyway guys thank you for watching uh, that was University Mall and as you know Athens has one more mall so coming up next will be Athens Mall. Look for it here in a month or so.